Just want to note, taking this order was a mistake. I thought I was only picking up one thing, but it was two. And now I'm at a gate that has no entryway, no call box, no nothing. Yeah, that part of my night sucked. <laughs> but what made this day so much better was some of the awesome orders that I got working DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Instacart. One of my Uber Eats orders was $33 for one person. One person. Let me show you guys. You guys just saw me pick up that point pickup order from Randall's. It's not due to be dropped off until four. Right now it's 2.09. I'm stopping over here real quick at this uh, Sprout because an Instacart order came in. It was $17 for five items. I snatched it up so quick because I've been missing out on so many orders trying to screenshot it and get footage for it. So um, I'll just put the drop off card right here so you guys can see it. But I'm gonna go off of here and quickly, hopefully, pick this up. Right. Don't have any of the hold ones, only the pitted ones, so refund. All right, nine minutes. There was a few substitutions which held up the works, but we got it. Yeah. The Instacart order actually was uh, a daughter who was in Louisiana who placed an order for their mother who lives here in Texas. The, um, we have to do a substitution. They had ground pork breakfast sausage, which we ended up doing a substitution. But I called them just to make sure, and it was the daughter. She's like, oh, that's for my mom. And I was like, okay, can somebody make a decision on whether they want this? Because no one's answering my text messages. And she's like, okay, that should be fine. So I got what I could. Store's looking pretty empty off in there. So um, hopefully if I do any more Instacart orders, I actually have some things in stock. But anyway, we got it situated. I'm gonna go drop these orders off. Nothing irritates me more than a glitchy phone at drop off. You're trying to take a picture and all these apps are popping open. They want your face ID, they want your thumbprint. Like, can you just open the app so I can take a picture and get away from the front of these people's door? They already think we're stealing everything we're dropping off as it is. And just standing there like, <laughs> just standing there like looking at your phone like, <sighs> On to the next drop off. I really don't understand why every app just don't allow us to upload pictures from the camera roll. I can't tell you how many times I've stood in front of a customer's door, fumbling, waiting for it to connect, to open up, to close it down, bring it up again. It's just a big old mess. Also kind of glad I took this order. The miles are bringing me to an area that I was planning on driving anyway. So might as well have them be paid for. All right, that drop off put me between two grocery stores. One was in the hills. <laughs> And the other one, and the other one's actually right down the street, which is the one I'm gonna to go to right now. It's 17 items. Um sorry, $17, 15. You guys will see it on the screen. If you care enough, you'll see it on the screen. I'm just trying to put my head down at work. I just find some customers so funny. I text him and say, look, there is no Italian pork sausages in stock. Send you a picture of the shelf. <laughs> Would you like the regular one? There's no Italian pork sausages? Apparently not. <laughs> it's a very popular item. What do you want to do? Like, why do you think I would send that message to you? Just for the fun of it? I want to get out of here. I don't want to be talking to you all day. Let's gotta try that again. I'm actually filming. You want to say hi? What's up? What's up? See you on the channel. It's always nice to meet you guys out in the public. Sorry if I'm a little weird because I'm just not used to being recognized like that. Just ran into a subscriber in there, which is always cool. His name was Alejandro. But I do wanna say that if you guys ever see me out in public, don't hesitate to say hi, no matter what my face looks like. <laughs> Cause sometimes I know I have like a death stare. I've been told I have a very uh, interesting look when I'm out and about. Like my face is not that welcoming, but believe me guys, um, no matter what I got going on, if you see me, if you want to, <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Cause I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Now, I'm sure this customer would appreciate me dropping this order off on time, so let's go do that. Going into a bit of a problem. We're at a gated community. Uh, I tried my access code, it said granted. He tried his, it says granted. And we can't get in. That's not good. Oh, now it lets it in. <laughs> now it goes in. Technology's great when it works with you, not against you. I just wondered, would you guys take this order? It's 18 miles for $30. I think it's like 20 something, 24 items. If I was closer to the store, I probably would snatch that one up. Only thing about it is 18 miles, that, that just kind of burns. <laughs> it seems like a lot. Either way, I only brought that up because I talked about this in one of my other videos that sometimes seeing those upfront miles can be shocking, but I started thinking about it. 
I oftentimes drive a lot of dead miles just to get in between zones just in order to get a hit to get some more orders. You guys follow what I mean? And those are miles that I'm not getting paid for. So let's say I drove four miles that I'm not getting paid for. I could have taken those four miles that I'm going to eat anyway and just put it on an order like that and just got the $30 and got out of the way. You guys see what I'm saying? Now, 18, again, <laughs> 18, that's a bit of a stretch. So 12, maybe, 13, maybe, but 18, 18. 18. I would love to get your guys' take on that. And what's your cap out on orders? Now, when I say this, I'm talking about grocery orders. I'm not talking about restaurant orders. That's a totally different ball game. But I'm wondering, like, what's your cap out for orders? Me, me personally, I try not to go more than 10 miles, especially based upon what the pay is. And see, case in point, something like this. If I'm going to drive 18 miles, I'd much rather have done it for 30 and then done it for 17. Anytime you say something like that, I just got to put out a disclaimer because uh, I don't want you guys trying to hunt me down and burn me at the stake. Um, I'm not promoting taking high miles, especially when the miles are more than the earnings. I'm just saying that sometimes it could be justified just taking a few more miles on top of like your cap out, get the money, and then maybe go home. Or sometimes you can just use the tried and true, wait for something else better to come around. I'm gonna knock this one out. Should be in and out really, really quickly. Should be. I say that and watch me end up living in this place. And the items on this list normally aren't in high demand, so, so they should be in here. It's insane, right? There's no way for us to do it. Pretty much burned through this order, but it's always that one item that you can never find. And in Costco, they move stuff like every two minutes, so who knows where it is. It's this, this is what I'm looking for. I checked up front, now over here by the health and beauty section again. Maybe I just walked past it. But uh, I can't find it. Ask the co-worker, she's like, oh, they're down by the freezer section. Why would they be down there? I have to walk all the way back down there. So let that be a lesson. Never assume anything's where it's supposed to be in Costco. As you're walking, just keep your eyes on, just keep your head on the swivel. And I have to walk all the way back down here just for that. Well, what do you know? Here they are. Here's a pretty interesting note left by the customer on this order. Um, please don't leave it unless you're 100% sure it won't get stolen. How am I supposed to know it's not gonna get stolen? How am I supposed, how is anybody supposed to know? What, where do you live? I guess we'll find out, but they did put a number on here. So before I drive off, I'm gonna call them and be like, hey, peek your head out the window and make sure your stuff's at your door. Don't want the criminals of Gotham City running off with your smoothies and your bananas. I don't mind bringing the customer's food directly to their door, no matter where they are. But in this case, where you have to leave a whole paragraph just to make sure your food don't get stolen. I think the best course of action would be trying to meet your delivery driver. Like stick your head out the window or something. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a one-off situation. So why not just meet your delivery person? <laughs> you know, something, something, something. Help them deliver to you. <laughs> I was just talking about dead miles and the good thing about this order is, it's taking me to a place that I was planning on driving anyway. So we'll see if it works out in my favor and we can, um or I, you guys aren't doing anything, you're just watching me. See if I can get some more orders. This note becomes even more intriguing. This order is taking us to the more wealthier part of the city. Who's out here still in groceries? I can see why that one was hard to find. You run into this door here which leads to some back apartments down on the ground level. But when you park, you think you are on the ground level. Because <laughs> you come out here to the ground level of the cars. Like, who knew? Who knew? That there was like a hidden passage. <laughs> a hidden passage behind the bookshelf. Even still, where that apartment was located, if anybody stole your stuff, it would be your neighbor. Because there's only two doors back there. Because it was that person's door and then the neighbor. Like, that was it. And, like, it's often a crevice. You even have to open up another door to get to their door. So it's not like it's out exposed to anybody who's just walking and driving by. If anyone stole your stuff, dude, it's your neighbor. <laughs> I've been to a lot of interesting apartments. That one... That one's probably top five. <laughs> that one's top five. I personally don't know what the purpose of having that door there was for. Cause at first glance, I thought it was a storage closet. And I wasn't even gonna open it. I said, well, let me just try it. Cause I'm not seeing the other numbers. And lo and behold.
just want to note, taking this order was a mistake. I thought I was only picking up one thing, but it was two. And now I'm at a gate that has no entryway, no call box, no nothing. Leave it to the GPS to bring me to the wrong entry gate. This is where I'm supposed to go. Pulled up to it, gates open right up, like I was in fucking Disney World. <laughs> Let's get this order dropped off. This was not worth the $10, I'm telling you that. It's my fault, should've paid more attention to the order. Cause yeah, this was not really worth the 10 bucks. Guys, you won't believe it. Only to come to another gate. What is going on? No tailgating. Let me call them. They probably gonna have to come meet me and get this order. So a little update. Apparently there's three entry gates to get into this place. And the GPS has taken me to taking me to every one but the one I need to get into. He gave me a crossing street and a security guard supposed to be at the front. So he can let me in. We can drop this $10 order off. Never again. And <laughs> never again. There's no security guard here. I'm gonna throw this stuff in the bushes. <laughs> oh, they let me in. Why is this wasn't that on the, you know what? I'm not even gonna say, let's just get this drunk off. If you ever completed an order and after you're done, you're just so drained. That was supposed to be a very simple, simple order. But that GPS took me to every gate but the one I needed. And you know the funny part about it is, I'm passing up all those gates right now, <laughs> leaving that person's house. Oh my God. But the battle goes on. I'm not out yet. We still need that $200. And like this, this is the original gate I came to. This is the original one right here. Oh, even open. Oh. Okay, that's strange. It's all a fob, somebody behind me. I have to use their fob to open the gate. What kind of place is this? <laughs> God, let me out of here. Let me out of here. That was the first gate that I went to, which means all I had to do when I got there was go in and go to the left. And I could have been in his. Anyway, I just pulled up here to HGB. Let me try to finish out my night on a high note. So I got DoorDash open and this order came in here. Isn't this the most Looney Tune path to get to somebody? Why is there like no bridge or something to connect these two? You have to go all the way back around? Wow. No. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Sorry, I just had to pull over here real quick because I just accepted two orders back to back. There were two Pan Express orders. One was for $33 and I said, okay, I'll accept it. And when I get there, well, hopefully I didn't make a mistake, right? And then there was another one that popped up for 18 bucks. I screenshotted them because I wanted to, you know, pull over and look at them. But guys, that is crazy. And also I didn't know there was an Uber Quest started. So I have two orders out of the next set of three. All of a sudden, this is starting to become a good night. That's what I was wondering. Is this place even open to give orders out? <laughs> Okay. We're about to close, but I was not leaving until I, until I got these orders. Thank God. I'm kind of bad because when I got there, she was like, oh yeah, I don't think they transmitted because we're about to close. And I'm like, about to close and close are two separate things. I need those orders. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to have that money. What an interesting turn of events. I was not expecting those last two orders to come in from Panda Express. Granted, they were about to close and uh, I'm very happy they were able to get those orders out to me. Part of me think they didn't think anybody was gonna come pick them up. So I really lucked out. I really lucked out and I really saved my night. If they didn't come through, I don't even know what today would have looked like. Um, probably wouldn't have been too good. Uh, they came out of nowhere. Blessings from God. <laughs> Blessings from God they were. Uh, anyway, I've been sitting here for quite a minute, uh, but the last five orders that have come through have all been a god beige, <laughs> like three, three dollars for, um, uh, three dollars for three miles. Uh, I want the 18 and the 33 you guys have given me a minute ago. <laughs> uh, so I'm probably gonna sit here for just like five more minutes because there's a jack in the box right here. I'm gonna order my food. And if anything comes up, I'll show it here on the screen. If nothing does come up, that means I got my food and I went home. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate you guys coming along with me and making it this far in the video. Hopefully you guys are faring well. I uh, hope you're making your goals. Appreciate you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.